In my previous video, we made paludarium for vampire crab, it was one month ago. What changed? We still didn't get the babies that we were hoping for, but we had one sudden death of a crab. Crabs have a protective exoskeleton to keep them safe from predators. When crabs grow they need to discard the old ones and develop new, larger ones, this process is molting. Vampire crabs molt once a month, although the process can be more frequent when the crabs are younger, as they are growing more rapidly. During the first six months of life, vampire shrimp molt many times. This number decreases to one time per month as they become adults. They undergo molting in order to grow and recover lost legs and limbs within a few months of losing them. Molting and breeding occur in freshwater, which is unique to this type of crab. It is advisable to remove the discarded exoskeleton, you can dry and cast it into epoxy. I didn't dry it enough and this is what it looks like now. When my Gosasarma de Neural went out of the water after getting rid of the old exoskeleton he died, he was a male. I have no idea why, do you have any clues? During the molting process and right after it, they are extremely vulnerable. Crab becomes incredibly soft and fleshy. It takes time for the skeleton to harden. The molting process can take a week or two, and it is best not to disturb them during this period. They will need plenty of places to hide. Geosasarma Hagen is very active, more active than Gosasarma de Neural. I have six Geosasarma Hagen, and after one month they explored every inch of the paludarium. They are truly amazing, you can almost every day see something fascinating or interesting in their behavior. A few days after arriving, they were all hidden, I was thinking they escaped somehow. But only after two weeks, they started to get used to the environment and my hand when replacing the food dish. Now, after a month, they are focused on hunting for food. When I say hunting, I mean hunting guppy fish. They already got two male guppies, and in two hours they were gone. Protein for vampire crab. Did you know, a vampire crab can jump? Another fascinating thing about these little creatures. Speaking of food, the red devils are omnivores. I got them an excellent glass dish, easy to clean and all leftovers are inside. What I found is best to feed them at night, during the day they don't move so much. They are mostly nocturnal and will naturally enjoy nighttime. At night, they become active hunters and scavengers. They enjoy eating bloodworms, fish flakes, and various fish food. Also, giving them boiled spinach gives them calcium to help them harden their shells. The crabs prefer a humid environment with elements from both terrestrial and freshwater aquatic habitats. They are used to living in warm humid conditions and their preferred temperature ranges from 24 to 28 degrees Celsius, or 75 to 82 Fahrenheit. In my next video update, I am truly expecting babies. Stay tuned.